Uh, my name is uh, Chao Kam Hing. I'm a Kampong boy from Yongping, Johor. So I have my education in uh, small town Yongping and uh, fur further my study in Singapore and then continue in United Kingdom. And all these are in uh, engineering. I'm a mechanical engineer, I would say, and uh, followed by as a technopreneur. All this uh, technology and uh, also I would say the, the kind of uh, automation that is probably not available so much in uh, Southeast Asia, in even in Malaysia. So I, at that time, uh, I think of uh, which, you know, I should uh, spend some time to develop this kind of technology in Malaysia. So that's why I set up a module system in 1995. My name is YK Chiu. I was born in Malaysia. Uh, I left the Malaysia age of 20 after my high school. And uh, that's the rest of the years I spent uh, overseas outside Malaysia. Uh, last year, I moved back to Malaysia after spending uh, many years overseas. And uh, I joined the module to take up the challenge to grow our uh, companies and groups to the next levels. Uh, I'm a trained engineer as well as this, uh, I'm educated with the MBAs. And I spent a long time uh, managing the uh, global companies and uh, international uh, companies as well. And that is also one of the reasons I come back and I hope uh, I can help Malaysian company to grow like one of the multinational. started as a conveyor companies. We deal with uh, quite a lot of uh, international client, clients, for example, like Hewlett Packards, uh, Energizer in Singapore. And also, we also have customer in uh, Indonesia, PT Unilever, PT Cinemas. Some of these companies are big multinationals. And now, uh, from uh, over the past 25 years, actually, we learned a lot and then uh, the, the, with the advancement of the industry, so we are going into this uh, so-called Industry 4.0. So, in, in a way, we, we are trying to trying to introduce a lot of technologies together with our technology partners to these regions. So, um, for the for the next 25 years or maybe, the, the world will be different. So we, we have to work differently and uh, we hope uh, with our knowledge and what we are doing, we can bring a lot of uh, future technologies to, to the regions. As a technology company, uh, we cannot stop. We need to keep upgrading and also learning new technologies, especially IR 4.0 that we uh, just talked about. Uh, we also recognize that we may not be perfect. There could be areas that we need to, uh, to learn and to grow. And that's the, that's the reason why uh, we engage with the uh, MARI. Uh, they, are, they are here to do the assessment on us so that we know our gaps. And those gaps is actually the one that we want to improve and want to close the, those gaps. In the process, it's also helping to develop our people, the knowledge. And th these are all the very important uh, the, the activities we need to do to allow us to, to produce a better products and also services to our customers. At the end, it's about business sustainability. We can't stop learning. And that's the reason why we still uh, go for the RA. Uh, setting up this uh, Industry 4.0 Centre is uh, because uh, we, we believe that uh, this is an open centre. We believe that together, we, we cannot produce everything. So we, we need to work with a lot of technology partners together in order to bring in all these uh, solutions to the customers. So we open this, I would say, uh, open center, free for all. Whoever involved in these industries, they can actually come together as a, as a place, as a, as a center whereby we can share a lot of information, knowledge and also technology. Uh, in model, we, we take a very proactive approach. Uh, the approach is always starts from uh, uh, by step by step, uh, step by step. 
uh, first, uh, we will engage the uh, factories or customers' uh, uh, management directions. We need to know what, uh, where they want to head to or wh where they want to go. Uh. So uh, after knowing what they want, and then uh, we can deploy a team from here to do a site visit. The site visit is to work with their, uh, with their team as well to identify all the gaps they have today. Uh, that's so important to know. We, we have to give advice to them that, uh, you know, where they want to go, uh, where, where they are today and where they want to go and how big is the gaps. Huh? Then uh, upon return to, uh, to our, our office, then uh, the team will study and we will study the proposals, we will give the, all the solutions and uh, findings as well. And of course, then we'll go back to them and we want to do the alignment presentation to the management. So these are all the importance uh, for, them, uh, for them to know. So uh, the, about questions, how Modu is able to bundle the services together, right? It's just not about ourselves. Uh, we started as the conveyor company, but we have moved on to the solution providers with the hardware automations, uh, machine automations, software integrations, as well as in the future, we are talking about digitalization. Eh? And we are not alone. We have formed the alliance partnership with the different uh, companies with the different skill set. We are talking about, uh, we have the partners who are specialized in the assembly automation. We have partners that is specialize in pick and place, robotics clean place. We have uh, partners that specialize in the uh, test and measurement. And for us, we are the solution providers that we put all these uh, integrated solutions and uh, provide to the uh, customers. Module system, we have our own products, which is a modular conveyor system. At the same time, actually, we also work with a lot of technology partners and that we can give Industry 4.0 solutions to a lot of application in Southeast Asia. So together with our technology partners, we can provide IoT-ready facility and also solutions. It's not a short journey, it's a long journey, eh? but uh, for uh, all the factories or the companies that have not uh, adopted IR 4.0, uh, my advice is to pick one step at a time. And I'm very sure that these are important steps for them. If they think that they are going to survive, they are going to sustain, and they want to beat the competition in the market.